This is your nerdy best friend, and today we're going to be talking about email. I wanted to show you a distinction between kind of a regular everyday email and what some of the new ones are going to be doing for you. So we're going to look today at Gmail versus Inbox by Gmail, and I'll show you the differences. First, let's go to Gmail. Now, Gmail is going to be a lot like your standard email that comes with your phone, whether it be an Apple phone or a Samsung phone or what have you. There's a basic email button that has basic email capabilities, and this is pretty much what we're getting when we get with Gmail. So here we go. As soon as I open up the email box, it's just an email box, right? In Gmail, like in many others right now, it will group things together. So I have primary, that's my major inbox. And then we have social, we have promotions. It has already kind of categorized things in different ways. So we start off with primary, which is your major email box. And in here, you just have your email. It's just a big old pile of email. One of the things that I think a lot of people don't use that is very helpful is when you slide. So I'm sliding my finger across the screen and you'll see different options. Now in Gmail, the option is delete or delete. And that's going to be one of the major distinctions when we get to the other type. So here is my friend Sally. She sent me a picture. If I want to write back to Sally, notice I don't have an immediate button. Again, that's going to be a distinction I'm going to show you with the other one. But I can, across the top, I can, um, I'll show you right here, delete, archive, uh, what's that one? Let's see. Oh, go back to the main inbox. And then you can move it, report spam. You can do all those kind of things. Now to reply, I'm going to have to get into this little area and hit reply, forward, print, or cancel, right? I could also scroll down and reply. Now here is where the cool things start to happen. Down here at the bottom, Gmail and Inbox by Gmail are starting to use a artificial intelligence to anticipate what you might want to respond. So Sally has sent me a beautiful picture from an event I did with her. There it is. And so Gmail thinks, you know, Sally is wishing me a happy Thanksgiving. And Gmail thinks I should say same to you. Thanks you too, or love it. So love it for the picture or thanks for the wishes, whatever you want. But you see how it's reading my email and understanding what I might want to respond. So I can hit reply there. I can hit reply up at the top. I can forward it and very fairly quickly, I can get this out of my inbox. Now that is Gmail. Let me show you the difference in inbox by Gmail immediately you see some major differences. So instead of opening up in the primary, which is just your big pile of inbox, Gmail takes it a step further, or inbox by Gmail takes it a step further and reconfigures all of your emails. So yes, in the other one, you have some purchases and you have some financial, but here everything is grouped into purchases. Every time I buy something or it detects a receipt, it'll put it in there. Social, we had that as well. Finance, now this is a new one that the other one doesn't have. Promos, again, this is something that the other one doesn't have. Updates, these are notices about shipping, things like that, forums. Um, and then here we have, we're starting to get into the email. Now watch, I'm swiping my finger across. Look at the different options. I love this one which is to send an email back to myself. Sometimes I'm on the road, I can't get to things, so I'll say, send it back to me next week. So at Monday and morning when, I, when I'm going to be back in the office, I get all the emails that I just kind of wanted to get out of my box at the time because I couldn't deal with, and they're coming back to me. You can put someday, you can say, remind me when I get to a certain place or a certain date and time or later today, what have you. So you've got that option. And then on the other side, you can delete. So very quickly, you can go through your inbox and what I call triage things. So 
to me, this is very helpful. Now, one of the things I like about this too is that I can actually swipe and get rid of all my purchases at once. Like these dang social things, they just end up like totally tying things up. So I'm gonna click in there, see if there's anything I like. Eh, there's nothing in there I really need so I can delete them all at once rather than having to go in and delete them one by one or what have you. The cool thing too about Inbox by Gmail is that you can set up your own groupings. Like I said, it has some overall groupings that you could look at, but you could also set up your own. You notice too, all of the kind of previews of what's in there, and look, I'm doing bubble mailers for my uh, Christmas present for my clients. You can see receipts, you can see documents, you can see PDFs, all of the attachments and things you see in uh, Sally's picture there are all kind of previewed a lot easier. Like inbox, it'll all be sorted by date, but, or like regular Gmail, it'll all be sorted by date, but you've also got these capabilities of turning these into tasks, it, they're grouped in a different way. It's just a more in-depth way to keep up with your email. I still have trouble keeping up with my email even when I have all these things, but to me, it's easier. Now, I'm gonna go back. Let me, let me look at the Compose button here. It'll immediately show me the latest people I've worked with. So Molly is my manager. I write to her all the time. I just ordered something from Maple Link Info and we've been going back and forth like crazy. DJ is my husband. I can do a reminder or I can just click compose. And then let me go back to Sally's note here. Again, you've got the ability to immediately write back. You've got all these buttons, same kind of thing up here. You can mark it as done. You can snooze it for later. You can click right here and get those same uh, reply forward, print and cancel. But then I love it that right here I can reply. So I can hit reply right there. And again, across the bottom, it has immediate ideas for what you can click and send. Just so smart. Kind of scary, but really smart. Now let me show you in, I may not have a lot in here. Okay. So you see here in the middle of this, there is something called Trip to Boston and Toronto. What Inbox by Gmail does is puts together all of my travel information. Now, I prefer to use TripIt for my travel organization, but this is the same kind of thing where it's putting together all my travel information into one pile and lets me, without having to search for things, look this up. Now again, I still think TripIt is a lot is superior, but if you're not using TripIt and you just need to keep track of a few trips, TripIt is free, by the way, the basic version, um, you can put it in here. So this is your nerdy best friend saying thank you for listening and nerd on, and I hope you find a better email provider. <laughs>